Rafael Nadal pulls out of Australian Open, Marin Silic into semi-final. But this one had the most dramatic of late twists, with Nadal retiring injured early in the fifth set. Three Rod Laver Arena matches in a row have seen three of the game's big guns dumped from this topsy-turvy Australian Open. And now 2014 US Open champ Marin Silic stands on the brink of making a second Grand Slam final in three attempts. After eclipsing Nadal 3-66-36-76-22-0 red in a near four-hour epic. With Nadal under an injury cloud coming into the tournament after pulling the pin early on his 2017 season to recuperate his troublesome right knee, the world know. One ended the night with fresh fitness concerns. Down 1-4 in the fourth set. Nadal called a timeout to receive treatment on a right leg injury and apparent quad or hip flexor strain. He battled gamely for another five games before he shook umpire Eva as Derek's hand after falling a breakdown in the decider. But please, let this take nothing away from Silic, who quite possibly would have won this match even against a fully fit Nadal. Silic bludgeoned his way to the last four on the back of a staggering 83 winners. To contrast, Nadal hit just 39. Unbelievable performance form both of us, Silic said. It was really unfortunate for Rafa. He's an unbelievable competitor and always gives his best, so it's very unfortunate for him to finish this way. I tried to keep my intensity up, it was absolutely important to continue with my own game, not be looking across the other side of the court. In what is one of the most unlikely open semi-finals you are ever likely to find. Silic will start a warm favorite against open surprise packet Kyle Edmund on Thursday night. Silic defeated Edmund in straight sets in their only ever meeting, in Shanghai last year. While bad things come in threes, maybe it's also true that good things come in threes. Because for the third night running center court played host to a classic. There was Dimitri v Nick Kyrgios, Chung Hyun v Djokovic and now this. Last night was a brutal slugfest. And if Silic needed any reminding of how tough Nadal was going to be to pass then he got it from his opening service game when Nadal stood at least 5 meters behind the baseline in his return. Stance. If Nadal stood any further back had have been on court 6, but he occupied that deep position for much of the night. For the first hour or so of this gripping contest Nadal appeared in control, until a controversial spark lit a fire under Silic's charge. Down 15-40 at 2-2 in the second set, Silic was given a time violation warning by Asdariki. He subsequently double-faulted handing Nadal a break and was ropeable at the change of ends, questioning why the notoriously tardy Nadal had also not been warned. But with Silic taking the next four games, leveling the match at a set to piece, it was just the tonic to turn the clash on its head.